you want a bad body, bad body? I can't get you a bad body, bad body. Do you want a bad body, bad body? I can't get you a bad body, bad body. Bad body, bad body. Bad body, bad body. This is your boy, Derek Colors. Today, I'm going to give you another best apartment gym workouts. I hope you're enjoying the other videos that we're doing, but I hope that this video will be the best of the best. Okay, so today, I want to help those who want to build that booty. You want to build those legs and build that booty, then we got the fun. <laughs> okay, and so we have five fun booty builder exercises that's going to help you do exactly that. You want to build that booty? These exercises are going to be great for you. Now, there are more than five, and you'll be able to check that out on my Facebook. I will put more of these exercises on Facebook. I give you 10, five fun booty builder exercises today, and on Facebook, it'll be 10. Okay, so again, if you want to build your booty, there are certain things that you have to focus on in order to do that. And number one is isolation. You have to isolate that muscle so that it can get the most work possible. So we would do a lot of single leg things because single leg isolates that muscle more. When you have two legs, it kind of helps out so it's not as much on the glutes and as much on the hams, a little bit more on the quads. So we're gonna start with the step ups, okay? So here's how you do the step ups. You don't feel like you're strong enough to use the weights, then you just put your right foot up, okay? And now I use my hands for balance. So make sure that when you do step up, you're not pushing off of that back leg. Remember, it's all about isolating this one leg. Let this leg do the work. It's gonna work all the way through the quads and hands to the glutes, okay? So now, Notice I'm lifting with this leg, I'm not pushing. You don't want to push because you're not going to isolate this leg if you push. So you want to lean forward and balance yourself and step up, okay? And then step down. Step up, step down. Notice again, we're not pushing. We're not pushing, okay? Because you're going to get momentum and it's not going to allow that muscle to work under tension long enough, okay? Now, if you're stronger and you're used to this type of exercise, you want to use dumbbells. Now, you can hold the dumbbells two types of ways. You can hold it here, some people hold them here, some people hold them to the side. But either way it goes, you keep the same motion. Now, when you have the dumbbells for balance, you want to hold the dumbbells forward, lean forward, isolate that leg, and step. Then step down, then push up, and push down. Now, some people, they want to extend this exercise and work on the hip flexes more. They take this leg down each time, so they step up, push forward up here, step down, take the leg down. Put the leg back up, lean forward, lift, okay? This is what you want to do, okay? So, the exercise, you will do 10 to 12 of these, okay? We will do four sets of 10 to 12. Now, you're gonna alternate legs, and you're gonna have the same motion. Lean forward, lift, step down. Lift, step down. Now, when I do this, I can feel my glutes activated a lot. Actually, as soon as I lean forward, I feel the glutes and the ham and the quads activated and you lift, okay? This is just that simple. And this is called the dumbbell step ups. And if you don't use dumbbells, it's just called the step up. The next exercise is called the Bulgarian split squat. Take one leg and you're gonna place it on the bench, okay? Now, in order to get the best stance for this, you wanna kick your foot out some. So when you squat, you don't want the knee to come forward. You, know, you don't want the knee to come forward to put all the pressure on the knee. You want to drop the knee and then sound straight up from my ankle to my knee is, it's straight up and down, okay? You're going to go straight down. See how deep the back leg is? And up. 
Now, the key is to not lock your leg, knock your knees on this front leg. You want to get a continuous motion, a continuous motion here. See, notice the dumbbells are still in front of me, okay? A nice smooth movement, okay? In order for me to get this movement, I have to have this leg out far enough to go deep enough because if it's back here, I'm activating the quads, but I'm not activating the glutes. So again, we want to build a booty. So you want to get out and sit. This is activating the glute and the quad and the hammer. And you come up, boom, just like that. Okay? And then you will switch legs. It's that simple. The Bulgarian split squats is the second exercise. Okay, exercise number three is the walking lunges. Notice on the first two exercises, we're isolating that muscle. That is gonna give you the best results, okay? So, here I go. Isolating, same thing. Step, knee straight, up, here. Go deep, okay? You always wanna go deep. Sitting deep. Let me show you from the side. This is how it should look. Here. Notice, perfect form. Back is straight up, chest is out. You drop it down low, this knee is low, and looking from the knee to the hip, it's low. And so the glutes are very activated along with the quads. Okay, each time, that's how you want to do it. Okay, so again, from the front, boom, chest up. You notice you still see the bad bodies. You don't want to step and do this. Don't lean forward, that's bad on the back. Over time, you're gonna feel a lot of pressure in the lower back if you do that. So make sure you keep the correct posture, all right? Again, boom, deep, boom, deep. Sit deep, okay? One more time, deep, perfect form. And if you do that, you're gonna actually really feel it. Okay, that's exercise number three. Let's go to exercise number four. This is exercise number four. I love this exercise, and you're gonna love it too, because many people don't do this exercise. So, here we go. Now, this is the Kegel single leg squat. The key to this is making sure that you put the pin at a heavy enough weight, so as you do this exercise, you have a balance and it's enough weight to hold you. So depending on how much you weigh, you probably need to put about the same amount that you weigh or a little bit more than what you weigh in order to do this exercise. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm safe. So I'm gonna put it 170, that's enough. Okay, I'm 200 pounds. So the heavier you get, the less you have to put. But if you're a light person, just put the weight safe enough for you to be able to do the squat while you do this, okay? So, what you do is, you grab on to the, to the handle, and, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna do the left leg first, so it's, cause it's facing the camera, all right? So here we go, you're gonna get your leg, you're gonna raise your right leg, the opposite leg up, and then you're gonna sit, and up, okay? Now make sure you get back far enough to where you actually really let your leg do the work and you're not pulling, because if you're coming up with a pull, you're gonna get more work in your upper body than your lower body. And this is the lower body exercise because this is the five fun booty builder exercise. Okay, so here we go. Raise that leg, drop. Okay, now I'm not pulling, I'm just balanced. All the weight is on this leg, okay? One. Here, just balance, see that? Two, just balance. I can hold it here. It's just balance. Three. Drop. Four. I am really feeling that burn all in these quads and all in the glutes and in the hams. All right, and then you just switch legs, okay? Get the leg back far enough, just enough for balance. Raise that opposite leg. Now, pay attention to this. Notice this is not what I'm doing. I'm not doing this and my knee is not going forward. I'm not sitting like this because there's gonna be so much pressure on your knee that it will hurt. So the key is start with sitting your butt back. Push the butt back. 
as you sit, okay? So here, notice my first movement is back. See? Sit. Bam. See how deep I am? And I'm activating the glutes, the quads, and the hands. Boom. Here. Not forward, but start going back. And sit. Balance. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Now, how fun will that be when you get done with this exercise? Okay, that's exercise number four. Exercise number five is coming right up right now. Woo-wee! Boy, you are really going to feel this. I'm already feeling it. I'm just giving you an example of it. I'm going to do the whole exercise myself. I already know. I'm trying to build that booty just like you. Men and women, this is good for you. Especially for the men. You don't want to have a soft booty syndrome. That's what I call it. The soft booty syndrome. There's nothing good and sexy about having a soft booty. So men, you get this exercise and you do it too. Ladies, I know you love doing that. So I'm already knowing that most of you women are going to do this. This is what the best apartment gym workouts is about. It's about having fun and it's about giving you workouts that you can be having fun with and they can be very effective and you can build just like you were in a regular gym. All right, so let's get to the last exercise. Exercise. The last exercise we call cursey lunges. If again you're just starting and you want to get the, the, the technique down, then the form, then don't use weights. Just use your body weight, okay? If you already know how to do this, then you just pick up the weight and however much you want to use. You can you can work your way up, increase the weight each set. Or you stay the same weight. But whatever you do, make sure you're getting the work necessary in order to build. There's nothing worse than to do a whole exercise routine and then don't feel like you got that exercise, that pump that you expected when you got into the gym, okay? But this, this workout is going to give you that. Okay, so let me show you what a beginner would do, all right? So put the right leg forward, the left leg forward, okay? And then, as you go, you cross over like a cursey dip. And notice when I sit, I'm straight again, right? Straight, right? And then come up, okay? Step back, sit. All the glutes and the hands and the quads are activated on this leg. And you step up with that leg. Again, we're not pushing with the back leg. We are Stepping up. Watch this back leg come off the ground. Okay, here. Step. Sit. Step. Okay? What it looks like with the dumbbell. Same thing. It's just giving you more weight. Okay? Here. Notice the dumbbell stays forward. Step. Sit. Step. Boy, I really feel this. Boom. And that's it. Okay? Now, you want to, for beginners, do about three sets of that. For people who are kind of in the intermediate range, do four. But if you advance and you go to extreme, do five rounds of 10 to 12 reps each leg. And if you do that, and if you work on that in a couple of months, you will notice that that butt will start getting harder and it'll start growing. For all you ladies out there who want to build your butt, this exercise right here is great for you to do that. Now, again, I will give you five more exercises on top of these. If you go to my Facebook, it's Derek Colors Facebook, okay? Also, do me a favor. Go to my Instagram and follow me on there because I will put some things on my Facebook and Instagram that's not on my YouTube because I want you to get a, a, a round of everything. So I will make sure that I'm putting different things out for you on the different platforms that I have. All right, so again, this is your boy Derek giving you another Best of Palmer Gym workout. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel on the link that's right below and, and make sure you allow your friends to know and like the video and sure, and I will, will appreciate that. Leave a comment if it's something that you want to know, or something that you want me to do for you in an apartment, let me know and I'll get it done for you. Your boy, much love, I'm out, peace.